Okay, um, I am going to show you guys how to upload one of my avatars mainly um, using the creator companion. I'm sure you could use this for other avatars since we're all kind of similar with things. Um, yeah, also a heads up, I just made a group. That's not what it's going to look like, but um, yeah, if you want to join it, go ahead. I don't really know how groups work, but um, yeah, uh, it's that. I don't know. Anyway, so you'll go onto VRChat, the website, you know, like the game, epic, awesome. <laughs> I hate this already. Um, yeah, so just log in. You'll go and see this page. You'll go to download, and we're going to download the creator companion. Click on this bad boy and... Install for only me, accept the agreement, next, next, blah, 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 next. We'll wait for that to install. Okay, I did some tests, but we're going to go to new, avatar, gonna name this stinky test one you should name it something you're gonna remember probably preferably <laughs> the avatar that you're that you've purchased or are uploading um, we'll just create I don't add anything for my avatar specifically but you can look at these and add them if you would like um, this is the only way I know how to open it directly, but I just click on open folder and then open project. That seems to be the way to open a project, but I could be wrong. I have no idea. And we'll just wait for that to open. Okay, it is now open. So I'm gonna drag my little, um, folder here you got this in your confirmation email or in your library or wherever you bought the avatar from um let's do kyoko so essentially in my folders not my older ones but my newer avatars will have me numbering things in here um if you do upload one of my older avatars and it's just one package, that means I've included the VR chat SDK and the shaders and everything. When you're using the Creator Companion, it already includes the SDK. So, if you are uploading one of my old packages and um, you're using Creator Companion, just make sure when you import the package, uncheck the VRChat SDK folder or it's gonna mess everything up so if you are using the creator companion don't put in the VRChat SDK or it's just gonna freak everything out so just start on step two with the shaders so um, yeah any other shaders that I've included or anyone else have included just import them and then we'll do the avatar package. Okay. Now that this is done, we're in the assets folder. This is the scene you'll want to double click and it will open up your package all nice and cute how wonderful um my human versions come with um gogo loco and, uh, and not gogo loco so um just keep in mind that the gogo loco version doesn't have some emotes and dances that the non gogo loco version will have but that's the only difference really um, but I know a lot of people like Gogo Loco, so we are going to log in now. Okay, 
I am logged in. So we'll go to the Builder tab, click on whichever version you want. It'll tell you here, or you can hide them if it's confusing for you. Um, and essentially, just double checking that there's no ID in here. We'll just build and publish for Windows and let that kind of load for a little bit. Okay, we have this page now, avatar name, name it. I'm gonna put test so that I can remember to delete it. Make sure this is on private. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, you'll click on this being like, yep, this is right. We're gonna go to our scene since I want to change the background. I know a lot of you don't do that, but it's a lot cuter if you do, and I've provided this really cute little background for you. Isn't that sweet? Um, no, oh, that's not what I meant to click. This is a camera preview. That's what it's going to look like in-game. So I'll just scoot it behind her and kind of position it how I'd like. That looks fine. Um, and then we'll just click upload. Okay, so now that it's done, we're going to press OK, and if you didn't buy a Quest version, then you're done. But if you did, we're going to start a new project. Please don't put this in the same project, it will ruin it, and then you'll come message me all angry, being like, Kozu, you're, <laughs> you're so stupid, and you did everything wrong. But, um, I didn't, it was you. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll just make a new project, new avatar, name it, create, bada bing, bada boom. Um, I'm going to open the folder and open project again. I'm sorry if that's not actually how you open the project. I think it is, but I don't, <laughs> I don't really know. I don't use the creator companion, but I will now, apparently. So we've got our quest package here. Let me go to the quest version. Um, I've made a mistake with the limited edition one where I put in the Poyomi. You don't need that. Quest doesn't use Poyomi. So that's just another thing to skip for a quest version. Um, so you'll essentially just need the quest package since it's it's already got everything in it. Um, we'll just import that. So we've got that all imported. We will just double click the scene for the quest version. And um, we'll just log in again. If you've only purchased the quest version, you'll just start here, obviously. I'll probably... I don't know how to do YouTube stuff, so... I'll try and put a timestamp if I can figure that out, but um, if not, I'll probably put it in the corner being like quest or something. Um, so, if you've only bought the, the quest version, you'll just do, you'll essentially just build um, for both PC and quest platforms um, so that PC people can see you as well. Uh, so I will do that just to show you how to do that in case you didn't watch the first part of this video. So we'll just name this and then Click this. Keep it private, please. Um, click on our little camera. Scoot it back to how we want it. That looks awesome. And then we'll click upload. Only if you've bought Quest. If not, then I'm just going to cancel this. Um, go to Content Manager and find your um, uploaded avatar. Kyoko Test is the one we did for the PC version. 
We're just going to copy the ID, go to Inspector, click on whichever version we'd like, and this one's at the bottom. So sometimes it's at the top, sometimes it's at the bottom. But we want this blueprint ID to be the same avatar so that it's both Quest and PC can see from the same avatar. So we'll attach that. And then we're going to go to File, Build Settings, click on Android, and Switch Platform. If you're not doing this from the Creator Companion, you'll have to install the Android build as well, so it'll give you a little prompt to install that. Finally done! Switching platforms kind of takes forever for the first time. Let's close out of that. So we've got our ID attached um, for the PC version. This should now say Android. We'll click on Builder. This should also say Android. And then we'll just build and publish. And if you've done the PC version first, we shouldn't have to put any name or picture or anything because that's already done previously. Cool. So that's all good. If you'd like to update the picture or whatever, or change the position, just click on upload image. Um, and then we'll go back to the scene and click on this. And maybe I want a really nice um, up close picture of that. That looks way better than my background that I made really spent a lot of time on. Um, <laughs> You can't see it here for some reason. Sometimes it doesn't update, but it will look like this, whatever you have updated it to. And we'll just click on that and upload. Thank you for watching. I hope that helped you upload an avatar. Probably mine, but um, yeah, if you're really struggling with uploading still and it just that none of that made sense, please just join my Discord. I will link it in the description. Or you could type it out, discord.gg slash kazoo, C-O-Z-O-O. -O. Um, yeah, you'll have to verify with the bot to make sure you don't have an alt and stuff like that. And then make sure to read the rules uh, or you don't get access to the rest of the server. So don't, don't DM me about that unless you really can get access to the server. Then do DM me about that, but don't... <laughs> Please don't DM me about any avatar questions. Please ask in the in my server. That's what it's there for. Um Yeah, there's a little section for for questions or you can open a ticket to ask me a question. So, please do that instead of DMing me. Um Yeah, just start up an upload ticket, follow the instructions that I have provided for you and we'll get that uploaded for you smoothly. Um, yeah. Okay, well, if you have any questions, I won't be looking at this YouTube video ever, so. <laughs> so just join my Discord, and yeah, if you want to join my Discord group, um, it'll be there somewhere. I'll, I'll make it look nice one day, sometime. So, yeah, we'll have just some fun times and stuff, and I'm blabbing now. So I'm gonna go, but, uh, good luck. I believe in you. Godspeed.